goodness gracious. <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel and to the final day of my autumn fashion edits i love how everyone else gets really sad at the end of the week but for me i'm like yeah no more filming i can take down my lights i really hope you guys have enjoyed this week as you can see i am sporting a new look from my videos this week we are finishing the week with top shop and to tell you the truth the reason for that is i've been hitting refresh on the new in page for the last like 10 days and they haven't really been adding that much new stuff and I was waiting until literally the last minute to see if they added anything new and there isn't really that much so in today's video I'm actually pairing it with some River Island pieces which is also nice because usually I do a River Island haul in my haul week but again River Island didn't have that much new stuff and it's definitely something that I've noticed with almost all of the brands this week I think they're definitely delaying their awesome drops obviously this year has just been bonkers so it kind of makes sense that things wouldn't be as they usually are. But do not worry, I've still got lots of lovely outfits to show you. And before we start, I just want to remind you that if you've missed any of the videos from this week and want to catch up, I have made a playlist, which I've linked down below. I'll also link it up in the top corner of this video. If you're new here today, please do subscribe, turn on post notifications, and don't forget that I will link everything I show in today's video down below in the description box. And let's get going. That was far too heavy for me to do that. I think I've broken my wrist. O-M-G, guys, just, Oh my god. Okay, so I wanted to try this one on first just because as soon as I ordered it, I was just really excited to see what it would look like on. And this is potentially one of my favorite pieces of the entire week. I thought that this faux leather would be a lot shinier. I'm sure that it was described like as PU, which I see as very like plasticky, very shiny, but this is just the most beautiful like matte, creamy faux leather dress. It is so cool and different it has such a retro look it has a really lovely fit it's so nice and snug around the waist and then it kind of like hugs your body around the bottom but it's not tight or clingy at all and just the whole way that it's cut and structured is so flattering on your body all around the shoulders and the waist the arms are just amazing they're my favorite thing actually about the dress um because it has a little like ruching around the shoulder i just think this is the perfect thing to wear in autumn because it's really warm in fact it's ever so slightly sweaty just because of the fabric but it's definitely warm it's different it's striking it's definitely a statement but it still looks really really classic because of the color and I also think it looks really expensive and like designer as well and to me this is just an absolute must-have I think it's one of a kind and I think this is the kind of thing that if I didn't buy it I would watch this haul back and just regret it so much like why didn't I keep that amazing dress so yes this is literally a 10 out of 10 so now for some cuter girlier vibes. I think a lot of you will really, really appreciate this look. I feel like there's been not many super like sweet girly looks this week, but this is so cute. So they're both from Topshop. First of all, we have these really adorable shorts. Some of you guys may notice I do already have these. I bought them um, at like the end of summer in the like cream color and I've worn them a lot. They're really nice very very comfortable because they're lovely and fitted around the waist they're super high and really nice and loose they have this really nice like embroidered pinstripe which i think is really pretty and this color is absolutely adorable i think maybe it is a little bit summery but i do think you can get away with it um in autumn like pairing it with some knitwear and maybe some brown boots and i think they work really nicely with this lovely lovely cardigan which again i was kind of surprised to see at top shop because a lot of the time um i feel like top shop doesn't do that super duper girly feminine look it's usually a lot more cool and edgy and like street style so i was surprised to see they had this really really pretty cute cardi it's so so lovely i feel like so many of you guys are going to absolutely flock to this so it's a little like white slightly fluffy cardigan yes it does have a slight balloon sleeve which i very much approve of it just gives the whole thing a really nice shape and then it's got this really beautiful um crochet like cape which is something that i've seen this summer um as a little bit of a trend um like especially on Zara they've had like shirts with this kind of crochet oversized collar and I just think it works really well on the cardigan it looks really really sweet and quaint and adorable um but it still does look stylish because I have seen this like as a little bit of a trend and I just think this is such a cute little outfit and it's really refreshing to have something on like this that's super girly and sweet because you know like the dress before is really cool and retro and I feel like a lot of the time that is my vibe like most of the time but then I do really love stuff like this as well and it reminds me of like 
the start of YouTube, like when I was even more girly than I am now and I loved all this kind of stuff. So I really, really like this. I think this cardigan is absolutely lovely. The shorts are great too, it's slightly summery, but then you could wear them in autumn and spring, summer, so you would get a lot of use out of them. And I just think together they look actually perfect. So next up, I have another kind of cool retro vibe look, um, mainly because of this cool little jacket. So I think actually last year in Awesome Hall Week, I tried on this jacket and they had it in like this bright yellow. And I remember saying that the jacket was cute, but the color was just too primary school. It was a little bit Paddington bear, but this color is absolutely lovely. And I really like this jacket. I think it looks so cool. It definitely has a little 60s vibe going on. I think it's a really nice autumn jacket. Like when you just need something to cover you up, especially if it's raining, when the temperatures like aren't crazy low. So you do just need like a little light jacket. I absolutely love the color as well. I think it's so pretty and I love the shiny like raincoat fabric. And I like all the little details like the open collar, the nice contrasting buttons and buckles. I just think it's really cool and I think it would work with a lot of outfits because this colour is super super versatile. Obviously I'm just wearing the same shorts and I'm also wearing this really lovely turtleneck top which I absolutely love. It's one of Topshop's classics, they do this like most years in all different colours but this is like the nicest colour they've ever done. It's similar to the jacket but it's a little bit pinkier, it's a really lovely like dusky pinky nude. I'll just take the jacket off so you can see it properly. So it's a really, really nice fit. It has ribbed sleeves and then the pattern on the front is just these really nice, like subtle stripes which you can kind of see when it catches the light. I just have to say, it's making my boobs look absolutely gigantic, which they're very much not. So it definitely gets a few extra points for that. Goodness gracious. Oh my God, I'm really distracted now. Anyway, I really love this top like a lot. It's just a really nice, simple basic to have in your wardrobe that you can wear with so many different bottoms. And it does look really, really good with these shorts actually. The colors just look so, so nice together. And I think the shorts actually do pass for autumn, especially with some brown suede, over the knee boots. This is going to look so cute, so girly, and just very classically stylish. So now for a couple of River Island pieces. The last bunch of stuff was all from Topshop. And I just want to say that um, I did like envision these two together, but now I've got them on. I'm not sure it's the best pairing. So these are the River Island Molly jeggings. They do these like all year round, like every year, I think. Um, I've actually got these, these are mine. I got these last year in the brown color and in like the ivory, um, like off-white color. And they're really nice for when you want to cover up, you want to stay warm, have your legs covered, but you don't want to resort to wearing jeans. They are nicer than jeans, they have more of a style and they're really, really comfortable. They're called jeggings for a reason. They're really like stretchy and comfortable. And then this cardigan is really nice. I don't think it really works with the trousers. So it's this little like white cardigan and it has little flute sleeves, which I'm not in love with. I would prefer, as you know, to have something that was tight around my wrist and loose around the arm, not the other way around, but at least it's a nice feminine, you know, unique design detail. It's got these really beautiful, like pale champagne gold and pearl buttons, which are really lovely. And then the best bit is this like kind of exaggerated collar, a bit like the Topshop one. You'll have to click on the link um, and look at the picture close up, but it has a little like chevron detail and little pom-poms all around the collar, which goes like all the way around the back. You guys can kind of see the back like that. So I kind of like it because it reminds Reminds me of like the um, polo, like sporty knits we've seen all week, but it's just a really super girly, adorable version with the pom poms. I'm just gonna pop on the shorts from the Abercrombie haul the other day because that's the only stuff I haven't sent back yet because I'm really undecided on what to keep. So let's just try this cardio on with some shorts and just see if it looks any better. Oh my gosh, okay, that looks so much cuter. For some reason, um, this cardigan and those Molly jeggings really didn't like have the right vibe for me at all. This looks so, so much nicer. Um, and now I'm starting to appreciate the cardigan a little bit more. And then I also picked out this little cream quilted jacket from Topshop that I'm thinking I will try on with this outfit. So as I've said lots of times this week, but in case you've missed it, I feel like quilting is a big trend this season. So far, sadly, I haven't found anything quilted that I like, even though I'm really, really into the trend. <gasps> this could be it. This could be it. That 
is really actually very cute. It's a little bit sporty. It's a little bit like um, a football jacket. Somebody commented on like the ASOS haul that my style is turning into like a cheerleader wearing her boyfriend's football jacket in America. And I'm actually okay with that. I don't know why I'm kind of into these like boxy boyish fits. I think it's because I got this jacket from Topshop last year and it was so like unlike the kind of thing that I could normally see myself wearing. But I just wanted a really nice cozy like casual jacket and I ended up not taking this off like I wore it so so often and it has a very masculine fit so I think that's kind of what started me off what do you guys think I just think it's a nice light layer for autumn with a little bit of knitwear underneath I love the color obviously cream is like my number one color for this season and yeah I like this maybe I finally found something quilted that I like so next up we have this cute little outfit from guess where of course river island i feel like river island are the only like mainstream big brand now that do unapologetically cute girly things like every other brand like zara asos asos sometimes do actually but topshop like they don't go all out on like pink and pearls and frills so it's a really lovely little knit top it's super soft and it has a really nice fit a nice high neck lovely sleeves a little bit of ruching on the shoulder which i love to see it's also got this really pretty detail with a frill here on the shoulders and little pearls and it kind of gives that style you know there's like military jackets that have a little like something here on the shoulders it's kind of like that style but just like a cute girly version and i just think this is such a nice top it's really easy to wear and it's just going to make your casual outfits look so much nicer and really put together like this is the kind of thing you could go and wear to like afternoon tea or brunch if you want to look really pretty it's such a lovely color and then i'm wearing it with this skirt which is also from river island this is actually petite because they didn't actually have this skirt in a regular size they only had it in petite um so hopefully they'll bring it out in regular too but I don't think it looks that bad it doesn't look that short and I do really like it the faux leather is really nice and soft um, and I love the gold buttons that kind of like structured tailored look with a little tie I just don't love the color this has happened a few times this week things are like described as cream but then they come and I think they look really gray so what do you guys think do you think this is cream would you say that's cream because I think it looks really gray it's very very cool and when I think of cream I think of warm this is definitely the way to go if you want to keep your autumn wardrobe still really cute and girly because as you probably noticed by lots of the outfits this week autumn winter stuff isn't typically like that so it's really nice to see outfits like this it's really refreshing it just kind of reminds me of the old me well not the old me because I'm still the same but I just think my style has just like progressed and I don't tend to wear like these really cute pink girly stuff as much as I used to but I still really like it and I think it's so lovely it's nice and affordable but looks adorable so next I've popped the molly jeggings back on to show you this jumper which is not the kind of thing I would usually go for but I was just quite drawn to it so normally I never wear things like below my waist like past the hips it's just not like the style or shape that I normally go for but I was just kind of drawn to it because I thought it had a very sophisticated look so it's kind of like this beigey knit it's a cable knit down the middle but then it just has like stripy arms which is nice and it's the top it's got this kind of nice detail at the top it's like a high neck here but then it has a little like cut out detail on the shoulder with like a little buckle so it's quite unusual but I just thought it had a very sophisticated like elegant look there was just something about it I thought it definitely looked more expensive it looked like the kind of jumper that you would find in somewhere like Reese or Cara Millen or French Connection I feel like this would also look really nice with the more pale molly jeggings and then like some knee-high boots like some brown knee-high boots over the top of the jeggings and a handbag it's just gonna look so sophisticated I always feel like autumn is either the time for my mulberry bag or my Gucci bag so yes I really like this look I like it way more than I thought I would and I think this jumper is a little bit of a steal and then the final outfit for today and for the week is this adorable little um, tank top and cardigan combo. So I've paired this with the And Other Story skirt from earlier on in the week because there were, again, a lack of bottoms, shorts and skirts and that kind of thing. So this little co-ord is from River Island. They had it also in like a purpley colour. So they come as a pair and this is definitely a trend that I've noticed. I really do feel like a cool girl in this outfit, but this is a trend that I could like get on board with I think it's very cute I like the matchy matchiness of it so first of all you have the little tank top which I think is so 
cute. I'm really into these like sweater vests, sweater tanks. Um, it's really adorable because it's got like little, not pom-poms, but little bobbles basically. And then the little matching cardigan, which I think is like the perfect amount of slouchy. You wouldn't want it too tight because the vest is already like really tight and skimpy. So you definitely want something to contrast that, but I wouldn't want it too big, too baggy. And I feel like it's the perfect, perfect shape. You can have it like a little off the shoulder like this. And I really, really like this trend. I think it's adorable, which I think we can all agree now it's the end of the week, has been my most used word this week. <laughs> So guys, that's the end of today's video and of course the end of my autumn fashion edit. I really hope you guys have enjoyed the week. Thank you so much for watching every single day. That's so much of your time to dedicate to one person's videos. So I really do appreciate it. And I really hope that you have found some fabulous new pieces for your autumn wardrobe. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.